campus. If you get the opportunity, please go up there because currently the Pioneer Architects exhibition is on and it's quite interesting to have a look at. Um, we were actually run four undergraduate courses, but before I briefly describe those, I just want to say a little bit of background to describe the philosophy behind those courses. Um, that's uh, an example of the built environment. That's an example of a spacesuit, and you might ask, what have they got in common? Well, quite a lot, actually. Both are requiring, the, the primary objective of both of those is to provide a comfortable environment inside the space. Uh, both are uh, technically very complicated complex problems, both involve multidisciplinary teams to produce the design, and both use lots of energy, or have in the past used lots of energy to produce the indoor climate. And this is where the differences start to appear, because traditionally a building like this would be designed, the form and appearance would be designed by an architect, and at some late stage an environmental engineer would be called in to produce the, the climate. And uh, in the past you can do anything you like if you've got lots of energy around. Uh, and that's what's happened, and it's led to the situation we, we see today in the UK, where about 50% of the total UK energy use is actually involved, associated with buildings, uh, primarily the running of the building, but also the, dis the construction and demolition. And here's some examples of that. These are infrared photographs of two buildings showing the heat escaping and hot air coming out of the Houses of Parliament <laughs> and from Buckingham Palace. So that sort of building is now, we don't want any more of those, and the emphasis is now on low energy communities and zero energy buildings. This is a zero energy development in London, and that's a proposed zero energy development by the same architect and engineers. And here's a, a very well-known example of, uh, of how uh, renewable energy can be used to produce a, a rather unique environment inside uh, spheres, the Eden project. Uh, and basically what, what's happened is that the, the philosophy has changed. The traditional philosophy of architects and engineers working separately has gone. And this is Norman Foster, well an architect, saying that we now require a holistic design approach which cuts across traditional and traditional boundaries and opens up wider horizons, horizons for architectural and engineering skills. And that actually describes our courses, the four courses which we, which we do. So, there's four courses here, four undergraduate courses of the B Art in Architecture, probably the most popular course in the university, or one of the most popular. Then we have the, the, the Environmental Engineering degree, BEng, and then the end of which is a combination of those two, and then finally a BA in Sustainable Built Environment. So I'll just briefly run through those four. Um, uh, the B Arch is a three-year degree. If you want to go on and become an architect, a professional architect, this corresponds to part one. Um, in fact, a lot of people just do this and then go into other areas like media and interior design and stuff. Um, so in that sense, the skills are transferable. The course itself um, is, is quite unique in a way because it consists of lots of lectures and things like architectural theory, architectural history, environmental design, structures, construction, management, so it's a huge, wide-ranging uh, subject area. And now all brought together in, in the most important part of the whole course, and that's the design studio. Uh, students spend maybe 30, 40% of their time working on design projects, a crucial part of the, uh, of the B-Arch degree. And then we have the B-Eng, Architecture, Environmental Engineering degree, a three-year course, and the aim really is to develop rigorous design skills and effective team working. In, in, the, uh, in the graduates so they can go out into the real world. Um, and uh, they learn sort of things about renewable energy, green architecture, ventilation, lighting, acoustics, electrical control systems using sort of up-to-date, sophisticated sort of computer technology and experimental sort of stuff. Um, the course is accredited by SIPC, that's the Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineer, and offers a route to chartered engineering. And there's lots of openings for, for, for the graduates, both here and abroad, of course. Now, the MEng degree is actually, um, we were the first university to offer this. It's about now four years old, I think. And the, the aim is to provide what we call a super architect, basically an architect who has the skills of a conventional architect, but also the engineering skills of, of an engineer. And we do that in four years. 
basically, the, the, the course comprises almost the entire content of the BH degree, almost the entire content of the BH degree, and we do that in four years. Six years of study in four years, how is that possible? Well, it's made possible by the fact that both of these um, courses, the, the architects working in the science studio, the engineers have projects which they have to do as well, and those two aspects are combined. Uh, so that the, the design studio becomes much more, uh, becomes also involved in the engineering side. So we, that's how we manage to do it. But it, it is a very demanding course, but it has benefits because it's accredited not only by the architectural profession, but also by the engineering profession. So at the end of that course, you have a choice. You can either become an architect or an engineer, or you can do both if you want. And then finally, we have the BA in Sustainable Built Environment. That's only been going for a year, I think. But it's really addressing a demand for experts who understand energy use and the associated issues at the urban scale. Um, and it makes use of um, material from within the School of Built Environment, but also that and other partners in the centre of the environment, which we've heard about a little bit later. But the core way, basically, is energy related. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much, David. <coughs> um, so I think so sort of